Hi everyone, it's my Mac 7 tutorial number 32. This is pop-up windows, also known as P-Control. So when you have an interface running, let's get a new window up here and make it big so we can look at it. So when you have um, a window or an interface running, they tend to get kind of cluttered up. And so sometimes it's nice to have a button that you can just push uh, that'll pop up another window. So we're going to have the imaginary situation today that you want to adjust the color themes on some interface. But first, before you do that, you're going to type the letter N and you're going to type P control. And what P control, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we get to look at P control while we're working here. So what P control does is you connect it to another patcher below it and that patcher will pop out whenever you send the word excuse me message open to P control and I guess we should also put the message um, close as well so let's uh, by the way messages type M you get a message so we all know that by now come on open and close and now let's just let's just make that imaginary patcher down here so we type an N and we type the letter P for patcher and then uh, what do we want color theme and I always put an identifying name on it so that I'm not broadcast uh, not so it's recognized as being mine and there my patcher pops up as they love to do and just for the moment um, right so you have to do something with this new patcher that pops up so, and that thing is, put at least one inlet in it. So type letter N and type inlet in there. Uh, I bet you could select it out of this bunch of groovy things up here, but I just find it easier to type inlet. I'm that kind of person. Okay, now we don't need to do anything with this inlet, um, but uh, since we know it's going to be color control, I'm just going to uh, put something in here so you can see it when it pops up, okay? So uh, let's type another N and type swatch. There it is. And resize our swatch so that we recognize this is our very own swatch. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm going to move that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, color theme John. We're just going to put you away for a minute and see how P control works. So because I put that inlet on there, I now have something to connect to here. So I'm going to connect P control. To color theme John and I'm going to lock my patcher and hit open. Boom! It's open. Boom! Open again. Now if it weren't right in front of here I could also probably hit close and it would go away. It's not open anymore. So this is really cool. So you can put this or just the thing that you want to control it. You don't actually usually need close because just by closing it, it does close. But you could hit open or you could have something above it tell it to open. So, um, so now we have this thing that will pop up from our interface and um, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. Um, I'm gonna adjust this here. Uh, I'm gonna put this thing down here, kind of out of the way. All of this stuff does not need to be visible in your presentation, right? So you could then have visible in your presentation something like um, a message, type M, and let's say all caps because that always looks better, color themes, or how about just themes? Keep it sleek. There we go. Themes. All right, so themes is going to bang on open and when you get that it will pull the color theme um, box open. Okay, so now we have this thing opening and I'll make this bigger that we're going to adjust our color themes with but what we want it to do is always open in presentation mode. So let's imagine that we had um, several of these. I never do it that way. I always do it the lazy way. Let's say we're going to prepend these 
with, uh, let's just say, background color for this, and then we're going to send it somewhere. This is the kind of thing that I normally do. And um, type N again, the letter S. We're going to send it where? We're going to send background color to a comment. So I'm going to say comment one John, just so it doesn't broadcast to uh, I grade students work, so if they all have comment, if we're all sending and receiving at the same place, it makes things a big mess. That's why I do that. But it also, if you're running multiple max patches, you don't want them to cross talk with each other. Or everything gets pretty ugly. So that's why I like to keep these things very um, unique. So that's just going to send, and then just for fun, we'll put a uh, receive down here comment one John and we'll put a comment box um, themes not to not to overuse the term here and uh, so let's just first we'll make sure that works locked my patcher there oh very nice so we can control our themes. So anywhere in our patcher that has a receive box on it that's hooked to a comment box, we can change that. And then the, let's just make ourselves extra fancy here by uh, whoops, unlocking our patcher and duplicating this and imagining how it's going to work. Uh, I'll duplicate it again. We'll get the idea in a minute. So this one's going to prepend BG color. This one will change what it prepends to text color. And this one will prepend background BG fill color because I have a plan. And I'm not going to send this one. So this one's going to send to comment one. And this one's going to send to comment one. I am fine with that. Let's lock our patcher and see how that works. So now this is going to change text color because it's prepending text color. See how nice that's uh, just zooming in a little there again. See how nice that's changing our, uh, our colors to things that you can't see. We'll get this a little darker and we'll use the light colors across there. Oh, it's looking very good. Now we get a light color like a yellow and explore our darker palettes uh, for the text. Oh, it looks so good. There we go. So now we'll have some possible themes here for our comment box, but what about other things? Well, background fill color, we know that's going to work well for uh, panels. So I'm going to send it to panel one and then I'm gonna put a receive object down here new R panel one John and then I guess I'll new panel and we'll just obliterate that comment with that panel and then we'll go up here to arrange. I believe I've gone off of your, you can't see this, but I'm going up to arrange in the menu bar and I'm saying send a back. You can see that, send a back. And so now it's sent that panel to the back and it's connected to this receive panel. So now we have, um, we have something we could really call a theme here, three different things. Um, so now we can make our panel blue and our text dark blue and our background a nice sandy thing and gosh we could call that something but we're not going to call it anything right now we're going to unlock our patcher type an N and put preset in there there's our preset and just I am holding the shift key down now Put, um, attaching it to the leftmost inlet for all these swatches. Of course, 
can never remember when when um, preset starts remembering. I'm not sure if it's going to work this time around, but I'm going to try it anyway. And we'll shift click on one to make that our theme there, and then we'll uh, we'll go with something uh, pink for Valentine-ish days. And maybe, uh, what should our text color be there? Purple? We like purple. Okay, that'll be theme two. And uh, I'm not so great with themes, but I'll try. Green, oh, the new eco-environmental movement is upon us. And we are greening right up with it. There it is. Now, let's go with a, something a little, a, a whole different kind of theme. There we go. There. With a kind of inverted text. Nice. So there's our green theme. And now we can make sure it all works. Themes, themes, and more themes. So we can see that it's changed. Now what's the good of all this? Well, if we were to then send from some tricky object like a U menu up above, I'm going to unlock this whole thing again, move everything down, and say, um, you could do this one of two ways. You could put a receive themes here, or you could put an inlet here and hook it to that patcher. Um, I am going to, oh, we have an inlet here, so why not use it? There. I'm just going to hook it straight to this patcher. There. I knew there was something missing. Remember, we had to have an inlet here, even if it doesn't do anything to make the pop-up work. Now we have a use for it. It's even better. Okay, there it is. Now, there is one last thing, and that is, as you may remember in in Max, um, there's the presentation mode. So when this thing goes to presentation mode, and I'll just click on it momentarily here, everything disappears. So let's go back here and say include these four things and all of these things in presentation mode. And to do that, we're going to have to open our inspector here. Open your inspector, find presentation, and say include in the presentation. And once we've included them all in the presentation, um, what you'll notice is that they have, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, um, that when we um, switch over to presentation mode, they are visible and the other things are not. So let's take a look at that. And whoops, yeah, I sort of moved them around by accident, but that's okay. And no, I have no idea why that line showed up. But let's go back to the other mode. So there's two things you could do now. One is you want these things in presentation mode, and if you want to keep it relatively sane, um, you I tend to work with them where I want them in edit mode like let's just say I wanted this here and then this here oh, I just realized that we have no idea what these things mean so um, but if we wanted to open up this thing and and see what we're looking at now we, we don't really want to see any of this stuff so uh, this would probably end up being here as our you know example. Hmm. This would end up being here as our example and then we'd want to label these things but that starts to get kind of complicated. I'm going to move these back down here and do it. well let me just show you real quick. So if you do it this way okay then you have to unclick the presentation and then re-click it and then you'll see that if they if you go to presentation mode, they will be where they will be. Actually, these were here before. I didn't unclick and re-click them. So things keep moving around when you go from edit mode to presentation mode. And 
you can adjust them, of course, in presentation mode and get them the way that you want them. I suggest just working one way or the other. Don't mix your uh, metaphors. Um, unlock this thing. Whoops, not lock it. Take it out of presentation mode. And either put these exactly where you want them. Let's just say that this is exactly where you wanted them. And then re-highlight all the things you want in presentation mode. Notice I did not highlight any of this stuff that I don't want in presentation mode and then unclick them and re-click them in presentation mode and that will save their new position. So now when we go to presentation mode they should stay put. And they do. Okay? There's another way of working with them which is this. Let's just say that we'll go back to where we were before. This is down here, those are up there, and now I'm going to highlight them all again just so we can sort of start with a clean slate. I'm going to unclick them and re-click them. So this is where they are in presentation mode and not. But some people like to keep this sort of order here so that things don't start getting cluttered. They only work with moving them around in presentation mode and you'll see that there can be an advantage to this which I will show you right now. And that is, we just go to presentation mode, and notice that it's still unlocked down here. So we can take our, our little, uh, uh, what would we call this, the example, and put it over here, and then we can say this, this, and this. You know, um, uh, let's spread them apart a little bit. So this one can be, um, uh, well, what is it? Better, I better look at it. Just lock it momentarily so I can tell what it is. Okay, so that's text background. That doesn't make any sense to have that there. It's upside down. So we're going to put this one on the top, this one in the bottom, because everybody does it this way. So now we'll just make some comments. And things that you make in presentation mode, by the way, are always in presentation mode. So we'll call this one uh, text color. And this one uh, comment uh, uh, text box fill and this one I, I know I can I can trim these up a little bit Oop, there we go don't trim them too much and um, then this one uh, uh, panel panel one Panel 1. So now we have a little pop-up box that uh, sometimes use little arrows just to move these around. So now we can go ahead and make all those crazy themes that we did. Before and we have a way to uh, go and design new themes in a box that doesn't take up all of our user interface. Now, how are you going to select these presets from outside the box is another question, but the nice thing is that you may remember back at the beginning of all this when we were talking about P-Control, whoops, we're in presentation mode, so we have to get out of that, and we're locked, so we're going to get out of that. And um, what we need is just something, <laughs> ah, I've already done it. Here, I'll quick erase that. Um, is we need a way to talk to this preset, and that is just use the inlet that you've already got there and connect it to the preset. Okay, now there is one more thing that you have to do, and that is this. You want to tell this patcher to always open up in presentation mode. So 
um, click outside of everything so that the patcher knows that you're not talking to any specific object, and then come over here to the patcher inspector, click on the green uh, diamond with the P in it, and that's the patcher inspector. Whoops. That's the patcher inspector. We can see that it's open now. And then we want to zoom way, 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 way down here to view <clears throat> and say open in presentation as soon as, yeah, open in presentation. And all the way over here is a little box which we are going to click and um, and it should okay. then always open in presentation mode. So let's save what we've done and um, actually let's do a couple things. Let's get rid of the inspector. Let's trim this thing down. Oh, put it in presentation mode. There we go. Trim its size down to something you find workable. I'm going to go a little far and then I'm going to juggle a little bit here. There we go. I think we could even make that a little smaller. And then um, go up to view, get rid of that toolbar because whoever's doing this isn't going to uh, uh, be allowed to use it. <laughs> And so now you've got the just the basic gist of your box, and now I'm going to push save again, and I'm going to push close. And then, let's see what happens when we say open. There it is. There is your beautiful color theme box all ready to go. And all you have to do is out in, whoops, it is not locked though. All you have to do is out here in your main patcher, wherever your whatever's out in your main patcher, um, is put the little receive objects for all the different um, uh, color themes you want to send send out. So you know a receive on your tech on your um, comment boxes, a receive on your panels, a receive on your various other max objects, and then have them say you know whatever knob color on color, off color, etc, etc. You can just put those um, with the right prepend here. So you could actually have a maybe 20 of these palettes in here all connected to your preset and you could make some very nice themes. That's it for today. Um, close this, take this object and paste it into the object you're working on, which for my class is their um, super duper multimodal instrument and you can start um, you can start sending those color themes around. That's it for today. Patch well and I will see you in the next tutorial.